the House of Lords EU committee has admitted that no deal WTO is still a possibility, something I know that some of you in the comments below still want to see after the EU's recent behaviour. Before I get on to this, guys, do make sure you've hit subscribe and the bell and give this video a big thumbs up as well. I'd really appreciate it. As I said, I know a lot of you in the comments, I do read a lot of the comments, guys, so keep them coming, are pretty disgusted by the EU's behaviour and have still been saying that you want a WTO. And of course, the context is that the EU still, as we sit here in March, haven't ratified the deal. And all of this takes place amidst a backdrop of the EU taking legal action against the UK, of the threats of, we've seen of export bans that seemingly the EU at the moment have seen sense on, and even threats of tariffs being placed on UK goods. Oh, and by the way, by the way, we're scheduled to pay the EU £20 billion over the next two years as this all goes on. But as we know, as I've covered before, the EU requested an extension of time to ratify the deal. Uh, originally the end of February, now until the end of April. The reason given ostensibly was about uh, needing to translate the text. Now anyone uh, who's actually been in Brussels sees how it operates over there will know. They've got stacks of people translating stuff like this. It was a pretty weak, feeble excuse to me. But the British government granted that extension, a two-month extension uh, for the EU to ratify the deal. What we then saw was MEPs postpone setting a date to ratify the deal with the quote, recent developments with the UK don't provide positive signs for us to agree on a day. That was according to a European Parliament spokesperson. So as you sit here in March, the EU still haven't ratified the deal. Now what we hear just this week is that the EU Parliament will finally ratify the UK trade deal, but not until late April. But the Lords EU Committee, in a publication, the Beyond Brexit, the Institutional Framework, have noted, we are therefore concerned that recent developments have so undermined trust that, pos that the possibility of no deal, in other words, a failure to ratify the trade and cooperation agreement, has now resurfaced. They say it is incumbent on both sides to approach the new relationship constructively in good faith with the aim of rebuilding trust. So the House of Lords EU committee there admitting that no deal is still a possibility uh, with the EU still having not ratified the deal. Now the likelihood is they will ratify it but it seems pretty ridiculous to me that we're now talking about this not being ratified until the end of April and I want to know from you in the comments below what do you think? We've seen Lord Frost uh, take a more robust position already. What do you think though? Boris Johnson and Lord Frost should do moving forward in terms of our relationship with the EU. Do let me know in the comments below guys and as ever if you have enjoyed this report, if you found it helpful and informative, please do give this video a big thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that and you can support my channel down below by hitting the join button to become a member. I would really appreciate that. And of course, guys, as ever, thanks so much for watching.